Let's take a look at how to do a one sample t-test on the calculator. You can either use raw data or summary statistics. Um, we're going to carry out an example here where the mean equals 5 versus the mean is less than 5. Uh, we're using the dissolved oxygen example uh, that's in our textbook. So you can see I've already entered the data in my calculator. If I go to stat, edit, list 1, you can see the data is already entered there. Um, let's go to stat, test, and we'll choose t-test. This is testing the mean. Um, let's use the data since I have the data entered in list 1. We're comparing against a value of 5 and I want to see if the dissolved oxy oxygen content is significantly less than the mean of 5, so I'll choose less than. I'll go down to calculate, hit enter. We can see our test statistic value is negative 0.94, our p-value is about 0.18. Notice we also have our sample mean and our sample standard deviation and our sample uh, size. Um, hopefully before you ran the test you checked to make sure the conditions were met. Remember we don't want any outliers or strong skewness uh, with a sample size of 15. So looking at a histogram or a normal probability plot would help you to assess that. Uh, once again, you can also get a drawing of this if you'd like uh, by choosing the draw option instead of the, the calculate option. Uh, also, if you weren't given the raw data, you could actually um, use sample statistics. Uh, notice the sample statistics here are the ones that we saw just a moment ago. Uh, but if I want to use the data, I can do that as well. And I'll go down here to draw so that we can see a picture of our t-distribution. Uh, clearly this area is fairly large. Uh, the probability of observing this value that we got, or more extreme, assuming the null is true, is 0.18. Therefore, we fail to reject the null.